The perception of SpaceX's Starship as a project mainly serving the interests of SpaceX and Musk is widespread. However, the reality of the Starship's development extends far beyond just SpaceX, especially considering its role as the Human Landing System, or HLS, for NASA's Artemis program. This role situates the Starship at the forefront of a much larger, more complex initiative that involves returning humans to the Moon, and potentially beyond. And recently, NASA has revealed some concerning details about the Starship's development, which we will explore in this video. Before we delve deeper into this topic, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about the Starship and SpaceX's other groundbreaking achievements. Musk first announced the concept that would become Starship in the early 2000s. The idea was ambitious, a fully reusable spacecraft to make space travel more affordable and routine, primarily aimed at Mars colonization. Initially, many experts were skeptical, viewing Musk's plan as overly ambitious and questioning its feasibility. Despite the skepticism, SpaceX began working on the project. The concept was unveiled around 2016, showcasing a design for a spacecraft intended for missions beyond low Earth orbit. In 2017, the project was renamed the Starship, reflecting its broader mission capabilities beyond Mars, including potential moon missions. Construction of prototypes in Boca Chica with each version building upon the lessons of its predecessors. In July 2019, the first prototype named Starhopper successfully conducted a low-altitude test flight, demonstrating the basic capabilities of the design. Throughout 2020 and 2021, SpaceX continued to test and refine the Starship design through a series of prototypes. These tests included both high-altitude flights and attempts at landing with varying degrees of success. Each test, whether successful or not, provided valuable data for further improvements. NASA's interest in the Starship notably increased as the spacecraft's potential became more apparent through these tests. In April 2021, NASA selected SpaceX's Starship to serve as the lunar lander for the Artemis program and awarded the company a $2.9 billion contract. However, recent developments suggest that NASA may not be entirely satisfied with the progress in the rocket's development. Given the series of delays that SpaceX has encountered with the Starship, such concerns from NASA seem understandable. These delays can be traced back to early 2019. The assembly of the Starship Hopper in early 2019, designed as a suborbital test vehicle for Raptor engines, initiated this series of developments. This was followed by a series of test flights and prototype developments, such as the SN5 and SN6 prototypes achieving 150-meter test flights, and the SN8 prototype's high-altitude test flight reaching 12.5 kilometers. Throughout 2021, SpaceX intensified its testing efforts with multiple high-altitude test flights, including SN9, SN10, SN11, and SN15. The successful high-altitude test of SN15, achieving 10-kilometer altitude and a safe landing, marked a significant achievement. Additionally, the first static fire test of the Super Heavy booster was conducted, setting the stage for future integrated tests. However, the first orbital test flight attempt in April 2023 faced significant challenges. The flight, meant to complete nearly one orbit around Earth, encountered multiple engine failures and damage to its launch pad, resulting in the spacecraft's explosion. This incident led to a lawsuit against the FAA by environmental groups and an FAA investigation, causing uncertainty around the timing of the second orbital test flight. NASA's concerns about SpaceX's Starship and its impact on the Artemis III mission are primarily focused on the readiness of the lunar lander version of the spacecraft and the numerous launches required before the mission. Jim Free, NASA's Associate Administrator for Exploration Systems Development, expressed concerns about the number of launches SpaceX needs to carry out to prepare for Artemis III. This includes launching the Starship Lander, several tanker starships for fueling the lander in Earth orbit, an uncrewed Starship lunar landing, and a demonstration of cryogenic fluid transfer in Earth orbit. All these steps are necessary before the manned Artemis III mission, scheduled for late 2025, which is now at risk of being delayed to 2026. 
The Starship design is complex, involving multiple iterations for different purposes like tankers, moon landers, and deep space crew transporters. A significant challenge for the Starship is the ship-to-ship -ship cryogenic propellant transfer system. This system is essential because the methane and liquid oxygen propellants used by Starship are stored at super cold temperatures and are prone to boiling off when exposed to the sun. The April 20th test launch of the Starship Super Heavy launch vehicle, which suffered engine failures and was destroyed, has also contributed to the delays. The Federal Aviation Administration is overseeing SpaceX's investigation into this incident, and until the investigation is complete and the FAA grants a new launch license, SpaceX cannot proceed with further launches. However, SpaceX still has made notable progress in the development of the HLS Starship. Since August 2023, there has been rapid progress in constructing crucial components of the lunar lander. Observers have noted distinctive white-nosed cones at SpaceX's Starbase facilities, which are believed to be mock-ups of the HLS Starship variant. These mock-ups include life support components indicative of advanced testing phases and a significant leap forward in the developmental timeline. The lunar variant of the Starship has undergone several design modifications to adapt it for the lunar mission. These include the deployment of solar panels from a bay position to atop the rocket, the solar panels, designed to expand during flight and retract upon landing, are a critical feature for providing power to the spacecraft. The landing legs, smaller and fixed compared to the original design, suggest a weight reduction strategy. Additionally, the thrusters have been elevated and distributed around the lander to minimize surface disturbance during lunar touchdown. SpaceX's commitment to the HLS project extends beyond design modifications. The company has also achieved significant milestones in testing the Raptor engines, crucial for the Starship's operation. These tests, conducted under extreme cold conditions, validate the engine's performance for prolonged space missions, which is essential for the Artemis missions. Furthermore, SpaceX has been actively preparing for the next launch of the Starship, with a focus on the Mars-bound aspect of the rocket. In December 2023, a critical test of the Starship rocket was conducted at SpaceX's Starbase facility in Texas. All six of its Raptor engines were successfully fired up while the upper stage Starship was anchored to the launch pad. This test is a part of the preparations for the next flight test of the spacecraft. It's important to note that despite the Starship being the tallest and most powerful rocket ever built, it has yet to deliver a payload to orbit. The previous two flight tests encountered challenges, but SpaceX is making strides to overcome these and move forward with more frequent flight tests in the future. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.